Hello campers, welcome back to the car, uh, car camper. I'm just finishing up with this little DC powered coffee pot. What we're going to do next is we're just going to, I'm going to use a measuring cup to fill it so I know about how much water it actually holds, which looks to be about two to three cups. So let's put another cup in. So it's about three cups. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to grab some vinegar and put eh, eyeball about two tablespoons worth. Then we're going to fill this up. Okay, so <laughs> this little thing on the side says it holds five cups. This is two cups each, and I did one and a half, so three cups. So sometimes the packaging might deceive you a little, so what uh, obviously was it's the next day. What I did was I went and got my Alright, cameras looks like my uh, battery supply has died, so uh, this is going to be another part of the video. Hey, ca hello campers, welcome back. So, forgot I had this, uh, my GoSun Solar is has the ability to run 12 volt system as well. So we're going to power this up. Low on charge, but all right, so it's on. Why don't we actually turn this off? I don't know how well this is going to show up on screen, but we're gonna, I'm gonna set up the stopwatch, we're gonna leave it on screen. We're gonna see how long this uh, little guy takes to make a couple cups of coffee. While this is going, um, a couple things I do want to get for this is I want to get a reusable coffee filter one of the mesh ones that so that I, I'm not using paper and you know it's better for the environment also I want to look and see if I can get a small metal coffee pot because if I do decide to take this traveling somewhere running it I'm worried that I'll break the glass a lot of times these small crafts are the glass is very easily broken so we're, I'm going to see what I can do about uh, making this thing a little more durable, a little more environmentally friendly. Okay, so uh, let's see what happens. Hello campers, I'm back. It's been about 15 minutes and we have a couple drops on the bottom. Looking at the way this unit is, it looks like it's got a heating element on the bottom, not, not much of a, no pump. It uses the DC power to heat up the water and it pushes it up a tube. I'm going to try to get a good picture of it on the camera. Okay, so you can see right there, the water kind of jumps up and comes back down. I don't think it's showing too well on camera, but I'm doing my best. So if you get one of these units, they don't have a pump or anything. They just use the expansion of the heated water, which, you know, I'm at 16 minutes right now. And it really hasn't done much, so that means the water heats extremely slow. Okay, campers. So that means this is going to heat up water very, very slow. It means that um, it's going to take a. I'm. It does take me about 20, 25 minutes to cook six cups with the BioLite, but that is six full cups. This is only about two or three. Um. So same amount of time, twice the amount, and with that I, I can use 
it, basically anything burnable, anything that'll combust and give me heat, I can use that to. Where this one, I do have to run it off my electrical system. Uh, it's like my Go Sun or something, which is finite. Even if I have a solar panel charger for it, it will eventually run out. Uh, so. Uh, this probably is not going to go in my camping kit because of the glass, because of just how long it's taking to run the cleaning, cleaning cycle through. I'm going to end the video here. I will insert here, or here, one of the two, uh, the final amount of time it took for this to finish. I'm going to do it off camera. All right, campers, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave a comment in the description below. I will find a similar unit to this or this unit online to give you a link if you do decide you want it. I don't recommend it. I think there's a lot better ways to make coffee in the morning. But if you have, like, a camper or something and you just want to set it up and have more and not use a Keurig, because this is extremely quiet, but it's slow. So if you don't want to wake people up in the morning, this might be the way to go for you. Ah, welcome back campers. So what I'm going to do is I still have my little coffee pot here which that is in the screen and I have a stopwatch timer and I have a Go Sun solar battery that's fully charged. So what we're going to try to do see how long it takes to make our pot of coffee with uh, the DC unit. It's on. We're going. And I'm just going to let it run. See you when it's done. Okay, campers, so that was 42 minutes and 30 seconds. It's previously taken about an hour. So I'm going to run it again and see if we get any better time on this. second round this the battery ran out I guess this does not like high drains oh this is really warm this is the ghost on solar battery that I got with the filter and it did two pots of coffee or pot and a half of coffee <laughs> um, so yeah looks like we were on track but there were two cups left I checked it at 35 minutes, it was still going, so it was probably going to be another 45 minute uh, cook time. So this little electric, DC electric, I am not sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm not going to use it for camping. One, because it's got a glass and I'm rough with my camping gear. And two, I mean it killed a, a battery in two, two uses and it takes 45 minutes to make coffee. I've got... The isobutene that I can have the same amount of hot water in three minutes. I can cook a little bit more with the BioLite, so that's 
and that's really good coffee. And I have, you know, the propane, which is going to be around five, ten minutes. So I've got enough ways to make coffee that this isn't necessary. I just thought it'd be cool to get for the channel. All right, campers, if you have any further qu questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave a message down below or contact me on Facebook, the Casual Car Camper on Facebook. Link will be in the description below. And remember, as always, as long as you're having fun, you're doing camping right.